Welcome to the EXP Group, one of the leading providers of business training solutions. Please enjoy this presentation and visit us on the web at www.theexpgroup.com for more information. Hello and welcome back to the EXP training video for ACCA paper P3. Now we're on page 20 of the express notes and yesterday we talked about SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And what I'm going to do today is spend a few moments expanding SWOT analysis into something called TOES analysis. Now TOES analysis, if I write on the whiteboard, TOES analysis looks at combining the strengths and the weaknesses with the opportunities and the threats. So remember we've got internal factors, so if it is right, internal factors, and those internal factors are strengths and weaknesses. And yesterday I ran through a few examples of some strengths and some weaknesses. So we've got strengths and weaknesses. We also have external factors. So if I write external factors here, external factors, and these external factors were opportunities and threats. So opportunities and threats. Now if we prepare a matrix for this where we will look at combining the strengths with the opportunities to start with. So we look at S O strengths with opportunities. Now what we would be doing within this quadrant of the matrix is looking at what strengths do we have and can we map those against the opportunities that are out there. So in simple terms can we use our strengths to take advantage of opportunities. The next one we've got is if we look at weaknesses and opportunities. So what we would need to do here is to say right okay what weaknesses do we have which if we addressed those weaknesses so if we change things to remove those weaknesses would we then be able to take advantage of opportunities. So that is mapping the weaknesses against the opportunities. Now the next one we've got strengths versus threats. So here can we identify any strategies that would use the strengths that we've got to overcome or avoid any threats that are out there in the general market. So mapping the strengths against the threats. The last one we've got is weaknesses and threats. And again this is saying right what strategies, what ideas, what plans can we undertake that will minimize the effect of any weaknesses out there and help to avoid any threats that are present. So just to recap, yesterday we looked at the general principles of SWOT analysis. What we meant by strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Today we've rearranged SWOT analysis into something called TOES, which is just looking at SWOT analysis in a different way. So we look at strategies mapping strengths against opportunities. That's probably the obvious one. What strengths have we got? Can we map those? Can we match them against opportunities? The next one, what weaknesses have we got? And can we address any of those weaknesses 
to not only remove that weakness, but then help to identify any opportunities that that would then open up. Then we've got strength and the strength and mapped against threats. So what strategies of can we use which identify our strengths to help reduce or minimize the level of threats? And the final one was the weakness. So we're examining strategies that minimize the effect of weaknesses and help to overcome threats. Okay, so um, that's the end of today's video. Um, please visit us again tomorrow for the next video in this session.